Hello my beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I do readings for Pisces. So today we're going to be looking at um, how others see you and how you see yourself. And I know some of you are going to say, I don't care how others see me. Well, I do. I do care how others see me. Not in the way that you might think. Not in the way that their opinion matters, you know, because some people, they walk around with a chip on their shoulders saying, I don't care what other people think about me. And that's not really the point here. The point here is to get a fresh perspective on what other people might be observing about you as you are walking around doing your everyday thing. And I think that's great because then you get a second opinion, um, another opinion, not a second opinion, but another opinion of maybe the things that you um, are too close to to see, you know. Um, sometimes you do things and somebody will call you on it and something nice, right? And to you, it's just a normal part of the day or it's just something that you're used to. And then somebody points it out and you go, oh, I didn't think about me doing that that way. So this is the way that I'm talking about. <clears throat> and if you're kind of a person who has a chip on your shoulder, well, all right, you know, don't care. <laughs> do, what, <laughs> do what you must, okay? It is your life, after all. Um, but that's not really what we're in about today. So, the first card is how others see you, and it's a creator of water. I love this, because it's almost like saying that other people see us as we see ourselves. If you see yourself as a full-fledged water sign, then great. What you are projecting is also what people are seeing. But if you see yourself as somebody who just goes, you know, through their day, other people do see you as a magical water sign, okay? The creator of water. And um, I'm going to read that in a second. I'm, I'm going to have a sip of this <clears throat> wonderful coffee. It's breakfast here. Apricot's having hers, and I'm having my cup of cocoa. So here we go. Water is connected to the emotions, being in flow, and relying on your intuition. It governs, governs the germination of ideas and conception, and it lives in the realm of dreams and prophecy. The element of water is insightful, healing, and cleansing. It's beautiful. So others see you as insightful? healing and cleansing. How can your intuition be of use to you right now? What happens when you allow it to restore your balance? Oh, balance. So now we're connecting to the rest of the energy for the week. They are also seeing you as somebody who is getting into balance. Nice. How would your situation change if you fell fully into your emotions? How well are your emotions helping you right now and in what way can they heal your situation? Hmm, healing again, okay. Are there places that love is hiding, waiting to be found? Mm hmm. So, the deep dive of water. Water governs the watery depths of emotion and intuition. When you tune out all of the should do's and could do's and throw logic and responsibility overboard, what's left? Imagine that you are in water on a ship or on a beautiful beach, or maybe you're a mermaid swimming in the depths of the ocean. And let's not, you know, let's not forget our beautiful mermen. Mm. I wouldn't mind meeting a merman. Yeah, that would be sexy as hell. <laughs> Tune out everything except how you feel. All you know is that your emotion is guiding you and that any thoughts that come up for you are the direct result of your intuition. What messages flow into your awareness? And then it says, immerse yourself into water. So this is about, you know, water healing, baths, um, anoint your third eye with some fresh water, uh, feel it opening up a little bit more as a result, dip your hands in a bowl of water, my hands are always in water. Um, so just anything with water, right? So that's kind of beautiful, Pisces, that they see you as this beautiful, emotional, 
thing. Now, of course, there's always two sides of the pendulum, right? You can be overly emotional, and that uh, can be very uh, toxic, okay? Um, and I talk from experience. I've felt deep emotion, where we deep, deep, deep dive into, whew, I had a hard time saying that, into your own emotions, and you're drowning. You're drowning, okay? Um... It happened to me more when I was younger, once in a while now, because, you know, I'm at a certain time of that of life, but um, I, I like to use my logical mind to help me out with that. But, yeah, absolutely, okay? You're a healer, you go with the flow, you utilize your beautiful water sign to the, to the fullest, okay, of your abilities. Mm-hmm. We have the full moon in Pisces. You might be showing up even more uh, of yourself than before, right? People might actually guess your water sign now. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pull some cards. I'm going to put my coffee over here. have other people in the house with me and today's one of those days where I have nobody else but me and the rabbit. The house is mine alone. It's quite strange. It's quite quiet. I actually don't miss anybody. <laughs> I wonder, are you Pisces the same way? We do love our alone time, don't we? I mean, our special times where we can be alone. Ooh, the royal you. Yeah, I'm feeling all kinds of specialness when it comes to this right now. I feel that how others are seeing you is is like quintessentially queen or king of 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 who you are, right? And this is the utmost compliment. I feel that this is saying that you're being even more into balance of yourself. You're working so hard on being what feels natural and authentic to you. And that's where the royal you comes in, I feel. And it's 16, so it's number 7. Again, coming in with the year of 7 of just really taking a long, hard look at who you are and what that means. What that means to you, Pisces. So, talking about water, we're going to take a lot of this, the, the water cards here. The Sea Oracle. The Sea Souls Journey Oracle. They're lovely. And there are cards, Pisces, you know? Alright, so two came out. I love these. The first one is heard. May your brave call be carried on the wind and held two H's. May you feel the ocean's caress. So in other words, again, it's like saying, again, I'm feeling very queen and king of cups. I'm feeling like that call, right? Your brave call be carried on the wind. I feel this is you stepping into who you are. And I feel that that's, since it's like linked to this one, how others see you, they're seeing you as the true, beautiful, all the beauty um, that your sign holds. You're authentically you. Authentically you. Absolutely. Yeah, gorgeous. So let's read what that has to say. Um, heard. Oh, held showed up first. So held. A calm sea is a tender caress, a universal embrace, as if all the oceans in the world have come together to hold you in this moment. Here you are safe to be all you are, to feel all you feel. Blessings. 
May you find sanctuary. May compassion heal you. May you allow gentle arms to encircle you. May you be a safe harbor to others and to yourself. And the mantra is the sea holds me gently. This is gorgeous, Pisces. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Okay, so let's see if I can find the other one. Heard. The sea can push you to endure, to tread water, to fight for survival, yet in the depths of struggle lies the courage to speak out and ask for help. In sharing your lessons and accepting an open hand toward calmer waters, here you go, health, this is the calmer waters, okay, your strength touches all. May you be witnessed. May you be supported by a loving community. May your trials chart a powerful legacy of hope and resolution. I speak my truth and I am heard. This may also mean that whoever is seeing you this way is a very great support. Because the word support came in. So maybe you are being seen and also understood and supported. Obviously a trio that's, that's wonderful. It's wonderful. Okay, so let's take some tarot here. And another sip of coffee. I woke up way too early this morning. Mm. So you have the Knight of Wands coming in. Gorgeous. Hmm. Brilliantly, brilliantly. And the Three of Wands. Oh, look at this. Wands energy. Passionate energy. Okay. So right, this is again the way others are seeing you, right? So they're seeing you as a go-getter. Somebody who is going to put things in motion and get it going, right? Um, to have the preparation, for, foresight, and most especially the vision to bring things um, into the first optimistic steps towards your goals. Um, I like that. They also see you as a go-getter. I love that, the Knight of Wands. They see you as somebody who is um, um, looking for a challenge, looking for something new, okay? Ambitious, adventurous even. Um, experimental fun. Experimental for other people, it's for us, it's just a different perception, right? But for them, it's like they see you as experimenting all the time, pushing the limits of, of you. Nice. This is a nice way for others to see us, okay? Because this brings in the support we need and also the inspiration with the wand's energy. It means that the people who look at us think of us as, um, I know, um, um, hmm, trailblazers. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. They're looking at us like trailblazers. Oh, look at those trailblazers. They're creating, creator, royal you, sitting in your energy with the crown. You're held and you're heard. When times are rough, you call out. When times are good, you are held by and supported by the energies that surround you. Very nice. It is a, an excellent, I mean, that's good. Okay. I would, I am happy that people would see me like that because that's the way I'd want to be. I want to be really in um, what defines me as, as a water sign. Okay. Because I feel, I find that's our strength. Our emotional core, our love, our creativity, our cosmic connection to the universe, okay? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Because they know what they're working with as well. People know what they're working with. They have no misconceptions about you. They know who you are, okay? So, it may not be like this every week, but for this week... Um, you may be clicking with people, and it may be because Pisces, we, we just had a full moon in Pisces, right? Right, right? I'm, I'm not crazy, right? We did. Right. And the next one is like the new moon in Virgo. So, next week. Um, 
So maybe they're um, like tuning in to their Pisces side as well because of the, the full moon. And it's making them more, I don't know, being able to connect with us. Um, all the power to us. Okay. <laughs> all right. So what else am I going to pick here? What am I picking here? Let's pick, let's pick from... Oh, no, okay. This deck is weird. I, I've, I've, I've had it all week. I've, I used it one day, and now I'm getting called to use it again. They're like going, use it. Yeah, now, now. And then I tried to use it yesterday, and it was so funny. It gave me, like, a terrible card. And I knew it's because it didn't want to be used. So, it's so funny, this deck. Right, okay. <laughs> You know, don't fight the feelings. Don't fight the um, the indications you get. Don't fight if you if you're reading for yourself. Don't ever second guess what comes in. And you know, I'll tell you one thing. I've told this before. The faster it comes in, and the more impromptu, like like uh, something out of the blue, the more you know it's your intuition calling you. And there's that seven again, and the word what community. And that is what I'm just saying. You are in a situation this week of being supported by whoever's around you. They want to help you. They're, they're offering like that sense of community. I'm getting the three. I'm getting the three of pentacles, the three of cups. That sense of teamwork, that sense of, of everything kind of clicking in. This could also be spirit guides. Uh, tune in. Uh, by all means, intuitively, because of this moon and everything that's going on, this is a fantastic time to tune in to, to uh, the spiritual realm, your guides, your, 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 uh, your spirit guides, your angels, whatever you, um, whoever, whatever, wherever you um, connect to, okay? And I say wherever because some of you connect to different spaces. In other words, it could be like, stars, planets, it, 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 that's weird. I've never known anybody that does that, but it's coming in. Mm -hmm. All right, so community. I love it. I love it. So this is an optimal time for you to connect to, okay? Just letting you know. Connect to that. Absolutely. Go for it, okay? If people are coming around you and you feel that they understand you, this is others tapping into you and understanding who you are. And this would be a great time before this energy kind of starts dissipating to really make great connections where people get an impression of you that is correct, okay? Because that's a good thing. It doesn't mean that you're never going to change or that you're not going to tweak it. But isn't it great when people uh, assume things about you and they're right for once? <laughs> so let them do it, okay? Um, yeah. All right. So we're going to delve into um, kind of what you're seeing within yourself. Okay. And the good kind came out. I love that. The good kind. Aren't we the good kind? We are the good kind, right? So the good kind, 35, 8, 8 of pentacles, 8. There's work. This is you working. And the other card was unstick the stuck. So it's like working at that, right? And Lord knows we've been doing that. I mean, wow. God knows, source knows, universe knows. We've been doing all of that. So this is a good kind. Bringing love and kindness to your situation. Honest and fulfilling work. I told you, it had to do with work, right? Um, acting from the heart. The bounty of a job well done. Of course it's work. Doing the right thing, serving with love, finding joy in the simple pleasures of life, seeking simplicity and goodness in your solution. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Sweet spirit, why are you working so hard? Really? What do you hope to gain in your current situation? Money, security, notoriety, love, acceptance, worthiness, growth. What are you working to find? Alongside whatever word you're subconscious mind served up for you, add these two words, goodness and kindness. Allow these good old-fashioned vibrations to cut through the fog of your worries and let them lead you as you do the work. 
We get a massive energetic upgrade when we witness and partake in simple virtuous gestures and we undervalue them all the time. Allow them to be an important part of the solution. Goodness asks you to seek simple joys, to unplug, and to do something because it's a right thing to do, not because of what you will gain. Kindness asks you to help someone out just because. To look at potential instead of just flaws. To listen with an open heart. To witness without judgment. Modern society can often paint these virtues as naive, superficially light and love, or even insincere, but whoa, my goodness, genuine goodwill and selflessness always open the most reward, rewarding doors. Try some good and kind on for size, because they may be way more fresh and alive than you remember, and they are always, always the good kind of undertaking. Okay? So, it's also saying, goodness and kindness, okay? To others and to yourself, Pisces, okay? Remember that while you're moving forward in this journey, you need to take care of yourself. You do. You need to be kind to yourself as well, okay? And sometimes that's just taking a load off. That's just taking care of what needs to be taken care of. So let's take a look at that energy. All right, now I'm going to take from this one. So why don't you take this moment to let me know in the comment section how you've been enjoying the videos this week. Have they been good? Are they doing it for you? Let me know how you are, where you are, and how you're feeling. I'd love to hear from you, and I read all the comments. You'll know, because I'll put a little heart on yours. Watching clouds. Lie back, rest, and relax. <laughs> all right. Be kind to yourself. That's, that's, honestly, I mean, I look at this, and I think, just chill like just chill this is what it's saying chill be chill with yourself and I know it's an overused word but it's it just means to just lie back relax enjoy the moment okay you worked really really hard and in this Pisces season where we're we're striving to get things right and get things moving and all through the year we've been really really pushing ourselves sometimes it's good to just lie back relax and let your imagination take over let music take you away um, let a cloud roll by and just watch it and and you know call out what you see uh, I do that still today I see so many things in the cloud sometimes I I will spend an entire hour, especially on a, you know, blue cloudy, a blue sky cloudy kind of day, and you see those big white puffs of smoke, and I start calling out stuff, whatever I see. And I love the way it shifts and sometimes turns into something completely different. I've seen whales, I've seen um, deer, I've seen planes, not real planes, cloud planes. Um, I've seen angels, I've seen eagles, I've seen everything. So, um, sometimes it's fun to just kind of do that because it's, it's like dipping into who you are, Pisces, that creative spark of who you are, okay? The good kind, the good kind, with kindness and goodness and kindness, okay? Take good care of yourself. There's the word good again. Okay, so, nope, they're telling me to wait for that one. Okay, that one. Okay, okay. I see that one too. Hmm. Alright. Wait for that one.
blossoming abundance and there's the other there's another three okay because there's three people here um, with the good kind yeah you know what they're showing me is that lazy summer days where um, you've done all the work where the crop has been planted you know months before and you've weeded pretty much and now the plant is strong enough that it can grow by itself um, I see you like taking a break and letting nature do what it's supposed to and let the flowers bloom okay let the let the things happen as they should because it's been taken care of you've done the work now it's time to let the work do itself type of thing and I feel that you're just sitting there watching things starting to happen starting to show the fruits of their labor and that's good it's like harvest time celebration time and that's how you're seeing it right in in part way we haven't looked at this one but in in part of this this week you are absolutely staring at things and going everything is looking mighty fine everything is looking pretty good you know things are blooming I feel connected uh, I've done the work I feel goodness and kindness within me um, I'm getting this community support I think things are just kind of falling into place okay I feel a great sense of peace and actually if truth be known almost like a sense of relaxation where you can read a book take a nap etc etc okay all right one more and then we're gonna look at unstick this Make a mission statement for your soul. Wow. Okay. So there's, uh, that's uh, 58, which is 12, I think. That's 5 is, yeah, 12. No, 13. It's 13, and that's 4. Hmm. 4. Make a mission statement. Interesting. Yeah, it could be the Four of Swords. It's like when you're resting here, you know, start figuring out what you want to do. Maybe what you want to do next. Um, what's the next thing? Um, the essential meaning is a soul journey, finding meaning in life and work and guaranteed success. And happiness guaranteed success nice let go of that big overarching life purpose thing and make a mission statement for your soul whatever that looks like today right so while you're swinging that swing how about making a mission statement and I think that's gonna fall into unstick the stuck okay uh, don't get tricked into spending a lifetime trying to pinpoint the perfect be-all and end all goal yeah I think that that's pretty much it Simply move toward what makes your heart happy, and you will be perfectly poised for soul purpose success. Sacred tasks aren't always logical or rational, and they are certainly not going to fit squarely into an old school template of or life plan. They come from spirit. You will recognize them by how propelled and inspired they make you feel. If you feel any anxiety for not having created your path yet, that's because you already know that you are meant to be doing something greater in the world. The beauty here is that you can start anytime. Ask yourself, what's my sacred why? Underneath money and success and stability and beyond independence, creativity and inspiration, why do you do what you do? Imbue your mission, your why, with passion and knowing. Find satisfaction and meaning in what lies in front of you today so that you can build the rest of your success from there. So pick a focus, but nothing too far in the future, okay? Take your time. Look at things right now and and build like from day to day. Okay, today I'm going to do this. And yes, there could be a big plan at the end of it, but it doesn't mean you need to be living always in the when that happens, right? 
All right, so let's look at unstick the stuck 4610, and that's 46. Of course, is 10. 10 is the um, is like the wheel of fortune. It's 10 is a good number. It's a big number. Okay. Busting out of sticky energy, breaking stagnation, seeing the pattern of your rut, integrating a message or a lesson and success. There's that word again. There's that word again. It's time to bust through the confines of the current pattern that you've got going on. This may be an overall sticky pattern that you're experiencing or maybe showing up in one small area of your life. I would say it's one small area of your life. Oh no, they're saying it could be a big area. It's because it's in one small area of my life. Okay, so either way, it's time to dust away stagnant energy and give things a fresh glow. No more stalling. If a situation, relationship, expectation, or unwanted responsibility weighs heavily on your heart, or if the dense energy of habit is making you feel like you have limited control over your circumstances, it's time to look at the relationship you have with your rut. <laughs> It is, is it so familiar that it feels like it's part of you? Or could it be serving you in some sneaky way? Sometimes our ego accepts the rut because it keeps challenges, fears, and possible failures at bay. Remember that you always have a choice to find the tools, help, and energy that you need. Unstick the stuck to welcome your momentum and the willpower to achieve. Commit to one idea and action and usher in a dynamic trajectory for a future. Again, one thing. Pick one thing and do it today. That's what I feel I've been saying. Take that one thing and do it today. Right? The star. Yeah. Your goal is going to be there. Okay? You can set a goal, but you don't need to like latch on to it um, so hard that that's the only thing you can think of, the end, the end goal, right? The star, having a goal, having hope, renewal, it's, it's about illumination and optimism. It's having a place to walk to. But if you're sucking the life out of where you're walking to, it's just not going to help you in the end. Okay, so now I get to pick out of these. Yay! Turn it on. <laughs> All right. Unstick the stuck and then you got the on switch. The off and, and telling you to turn it on. I mean, that's that kind of says it all, right? You don't really need anything else. Hey, that could possibly be my husband. Yeah. Except his mustache. It's too, it's too long. Um, there you go. There you go. Just turn it on. Just turn it on. <laughs> I love that card. I don't think I'd gotten that one yet. Go ahead. Turn it on. I love it. I love it. It's like saying you're ready. Just, just do the thing, right? Okay, so you have a grieving card here. Hmm. It feels out of bounds. It feels out of sorts. Um, the psychic abilities one, no problem. Um, it also could be that you are hearing from somebody who has passed. I feel I'm gonna get I'm gonna get clarification for that one because I have to tell you this one feels a little off. And uh, the butterfly, the transformation, it, it feels like somebody's gone. Um, somebody's passed. And, uh, yeah, it's like a gate crash here. So you have... No, I think they're together. Okay. So let's see. I'll just... I'll pull some cards separately for this, okay? I know. It's just kind of a little bit on the side, but sometimes that happens. Yeah, there's a connection here that 
that's been hurting. It could be, there's three, there's the three of cups, again, with the three. Um, okay, what I'm getting is that this is, this is a friendship. Doesn't mean that it's not a mate, but this is friendship. And it's, it was a very close friendship. And it's, the reason this message came in is that if somebody is listening, and when I was talking about the support of somebody seeing you for who you really are, it triggered something and somebody you remind, you were thinking of somebody who was once here, like my friend Catherine, right? My friend Catherine who passed. Um, um, yeah. So this is a personal message for whoever that is, letting you know that um, this is a perfect time to get in touch with them, okay? The Psychic Abilities card is the third eye. You are in Pisces, literally Pisces, not season, but Pisces energy right now. So intuition is a wonderful thing to get in touch. And you know, it's not anything freaky or weird. It's to simply say, I love you and whatever you're thinking and I miss you and I miss your support and I, I want to feel you near me and trust me, you will feel them. You will get a sign from them because this is the sign for you as well. Okay, so I'm going to remove these though. I'm not keeping them because these these are for somebody in particular or maybe a few people in particular. And I will take this message too as well for um, my past friend. Okay, so just hold on to it and, and keep it close to your heart. Okay, um, they're not gone. They're still here. That's why I said this could be like a connection to spirit and I didn't say past loved ones but I should have okay so I'm being reminded the knight of swords coming in fast <laughs> and I feel like it's saying that it's things are going to start moving um, probably faster at this point The Knight of Swords is somebody who's um, very, very self-assured. And because it's unstick the stack, I feel that the Knight of Swords is coming in to tell you that you should move forward as though you are self-assured, okay? Take a small plan of the big plan and move through it, okay? You can have a lot of different little things on the go, too, here at Pisces. You have the Divine Matrix. I think we've already gotten that at the beginning of the week. This is our, This is just telling me that you are on, like, a very definite course. And you're getting help, okay? Number 44, number 8 coming in again. The work is being done, Pisces. You are getting it done. Things are happening. Things are moving forward in your life. And I, I, I feel that it is very deserved. And I hope that you feel the fulfillment of it soon, if you haven't already. I hope that you let yourself feel fulfilled by everything that you've accomplished this year. Um, some of you, even if you started this month. You've, but it's this year, because even if you only started on a goal just recently, you've been working up to it, up to this point. You've really been putting in the work. And that's, that's the part. It's time. It's, I keep hearing it's game time, especially with that on thing. It's like, it's on. Oh, Pisces, it's on. That's all I hear. So it's time for you to move forward. You're getting many nights. And that's, those are the cards of action. They're like action, mission statement. That's a card of, of just um, asking you to take action, right? Asking you to move forward. So you may be feeling that um, this is how you feel. This is how others see you. And intertwine with that, you're getting the energy that's coming in to move you along. So please, please, just keep following your inner compass your GPS, whatever it's saying, and move forward in that energy, okay? 
So we have the last two cards coming in tomorrow uh, from the Celtic Cross that I did on Sunday. And I hope you can join me then. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings as always. Thank you to everybody who has donated, who signed up to the website for free just to get notified as well. Make sure you always know when I'm popping up with new videos. Um, uh, thank you to everybody who has um, joined the memberships. I appreciate you so very much. And thank you to everybody who comes here every day, likes, shares, comments on these videos. All of that truly helps me and the channel. I appreciate you. Take good care of yourself and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.